Hello to all my friends out there. And this video is how can I save money on food? So I'm going to be concentrating on this for the next few weeks. And I thought of a few ways off the top of my head. And so I'm having some Peter, some Peter's mint tea. This is my favorite tea at night. So I have some mint tea, and I didn't know if this was the same as peppermint, and it's not, this is spearmint. I looked on the box finally. Uh, oh, peppermint and spearmint. Well, this is what's in it, but it's really good. So it's not the same thing. And then I found out that um, one half tablespoon honey is the serving size. I looked that up online. And so that is just really delicious when you have one half tablespoon um, honey in the uh, tea. And I found the I think I found the best deal on raw honey at Grocery Outlet. And it's supposed to be fresh lemon, but I didn't have any, so I have to use my plastic lemon. So, um, if, you, if you save money on food, you could have more food, you could have better food. So I made the, a list just off the top of my head. I could buy cheaper food. That doesn't mean that the food's no good, it just means that it's cheaper food, like um, maybe some beans instead of so much meat, or maybe some vegetables of some sort instead of so much meat, or sausage is cheaper than ground beef. Um, buy bigger packages, like um, you know, if one package has more food in it and it's the same price, buy that one. Um, find food that's on sale. Ch uh, check out the food ads. Uh, buy the freshest food. You know, I, I do that. I search around and I, I look on the expiration dates. And I mean, it can be anywhere from a week to a month to six months. And so making a habit of buying the freshest food is ultimately going to save money. No wasting food. Um, usually if, you, um, if you're if you making food you really like, it's less likely to be wasted. Uh, make your own food at home. Uh, it's cheaper. Make meals with fewer ingredients. Those are going to cost less. Eat basic food. Um, I had a video a long time ago and it was meat, vegetables, rice, sweet potatoes. So I think that right there is probably one of the best ones. Eat basic food. Make food from scratch. Buy less um, packaged food or prepared food. And you know, uh, making some eggs and toast, that's from scratch. That's cheap buy biggest items um if if like items are all the same price buy the biggest um bell pepper the biggest onion you know buy the biggest one buy the fullest bottle um you know there are there's like an ounce or two more in some bottles and in packages buy store brands Check on the bottom shelf. Someone left that on one that idea on one of the messages. I really appreciated the messages you guys leave. Check discount areas. In Food for Less, they have one area where they throw all kinds of boxes, cans, everything that they discount. You can find good deals that way. Um, find packages with more pieces. I found bread that was one uh, six one pound six ounces as opposed to one pound or if they have more pieces 
you know, like the candy I found, the big bags of candy as opposed to the smaller ones. As long as you like the candy, it's, it makes sense to buy 12 ounces as opposed to three ounces. Um, try dollar shopping. You know, I bought this tea at 99 cent only and I really and truly love it. Um, uh, go to discount stores like Grocery Outlet. I bought a lot of nice stuff in there, you know, that was marked down. Get a seller's permit. Um, out here, if you have a seller's permit, you can go to Costco or, um, oh, what is that other one? Smart and Final and get your food and everything cheaper. Uh, buy damaged packages as long as what's inside of them is okay, only if it's cheaper. If if I, I never buy dented cans or dented packages unless they're cheaper. So this is my, these are my ideas, how I can save money on food. And so I'm going to be doing um, a bunch of more ideas as I think, as I think of them. And here's the tea recipe. And so God bless you all.